You're back with Guitar Basics. I'm Dave Caruso. Today we're going to learn another new eighth note strum pattern and a song from 1972 by Neil Young called Heart of Gold. So far we've learned two eighth note strums and both of them required us to play on one and two and three and four and. One of them was all down strums and one of them is down and up. So this strum here is going to be some ups, some downs, and some where we don't play. What I want you to understand is that your arm is always going up and down naturally, even when you're not strumming the strings. So with this strum, you're going to go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Let's put the practice chart up on the screen, and we're going to go one two and three and four and one and two and three over and over we'll use an e minor chord the ones that i whispered were not playing but we are moving our arm so the arm will just go up and down one and two and ready go one two and three four and one two and three four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and that's it now it's going to sound a little different when we start changing chords and we're going to put the song chart up and show you how that works but first i want to tell you it's like long short short long so long short short long short short long short short long short short long but try to match my ups and downs and remember to slant your pick a little bit, angle it so that it's pointing up when you're strumming down and it's pointing down when you're strumming up. Like you're cleaning a paintbrush sideways, right? It's kind of swishing. Swish. Let's learn the first line of this song and stop. The first line is E minor, C, D, and G. I'm going to start it with a real slow count. One and two and three and go one and two and three and four and one and two and three two more times one and two and three and four and 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 that's going to be the verse and also part of the introduction of the song. But I want to teach you a trick right now. And it's going to make life easier. When you do your down, up, down, and that last down has to be a new chord change, it's hard to hold the chord to the last minute. Down, down, up, change. That's hard to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to relax it. And I'm going to say, on the up strum, you're allowed to let go completely of your left hand as long as you follow the rule we had before of all your and strums, all your up strums are softer than your down strums. Watch what happens when I do it that way. I'm not going to talk over it. I'm just going to play. I'm going to play down, down, up, down. And the ups are quiet. But when I do an up, I'm going to let go of my chord so I can switch to the next chord. You'll hear basically slop on the guitar. It's on purpose slop. Watch what happens. I'll play just this first line. One and two and ready, go. Did you hear it? So that's a good trick for you up strums that happened at the last minute just before a chord change. You can let go as long as it isn't a full bodied strum. Just kind of let a couple strings hit and it'll make your rhythm keep steady, but it'll make it not so, it won't be so difficult to change chords. Let's try the second line now and notice that it is longer, but it's compressed. So it's going to be E minor for four beats, G for four beats, C for four beats, and then C. Now that last G is an up strum. So you're going to anticipate it and play it early. Watch how that works. One, two, 
Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and 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 so we basically pushed the last G chord just a little bit early, a half beat early on an and. And you'll get used to doing that once you've done it a few times with that exercise I just did. Let's play all three times through the first line and both times through the second line. Are you ready? One, two, ready, go. I want to live. I want to give. I've been a mighty fire, a heart of gold. It's these expressions I never give. Second line. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. And I'm getting old. Second line again. Keep me searching for a higher goal, and I'm getting old. Now, you've, if you've ever listened to the radio ever, you've probably heard this song by Neil Young, and you probably know approximately how fast it is. When you've been playing this for several days in a row, and you finally think you've got the speed, the same speed that he recorded it at, then go to my Spotify. And look for a playlist there called Guitar Basics, G, E minor, C, and D. And what you'll find is that all the songs in these lessons are there in the order that we're learning them. There is not a Neil Young version of this song on Spotify because he's not on Spotify. But there's a sound alike, so you can use that. Now I'm going to give you a bonus lesson for the introduction to Heart of Gold. The introduction has some different chords and... A different strum and this little accoutrement that holds the harmonica around your neck this is a G harmonica you've seen Bob Dylan and Neil Young use this little device it's a little guitar accessory you can get it at most music stores uh, I'm not a good harmonica player but I I think I can play well enough to demonstrate how this works you're gonna do the first line of the song just like we did it before and follow that up with E minor D pushed E minor and the E minor, D pushed E minor, think of it as the lyric of keep me searching for a heart of gold. Watch. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. So if you think that rhythm, the rhythm of the words, you can strum it. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. Like that. Okay? Now I'm going to show you the intro. And it goes just like this. I've been to Hollywood, I've been to Redwood, I crossed the ocean for a heart of gold. I've been in my mind, such a fine line, keeps me searching for a heart of gold, and I'm getting old. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it and please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next video.